Hi and welcome to Saving Our Seas Northern Ireland. I'm Flavia and today we're filming from the Explorers Aquarium in Port of Larry. The Explorers Aquarium is actually the only aquarium and seal sanctuary in the whole of Northern Ireland and they have a huge range of marine wildlife in their care. I'm talking anything from sharks, stingrays, crocodiles and seals. That's what we're going to find out more about today. We're going to visit their seal sanctuary and we're going to find out about a couple of the seals that are currently in their care. We're going to find out what got them here we're gonna to get to see them, and we're also gonna to get to film them being released back into the wild after a short stay with explorers. So I'm not gonna hold you any further. Let's go see some seals. So we're here today with Jesse, who's a keeper at Explorers Aquarium, and we're in the pool with, who are these little fellows swimming around? So this is our pre-release pool, um, and in here we have Eris over there, and Sarah's just going past up that way. These two are grey seals. Um, the two different types of seal that we get in um, Northern Ireland are grey seals and harbour seals. Um, so what are the differences between the two main types of seals you'd find in Northern Ireland? Okay, so the grey seals are usually much bigger, um, but when they're born um, they can't swim for the first three weeks of their life because they have this big fluffy white coat called a lunago coat and it takes three weeks for them to shed that. If they went in the water with it, it would just get saturated and they would drown. So um, that's kind of the main time whenever we get issues of people going onto the beach with dogs. Um, whenever we release the grey seals, we try and get them up to at least 35 kilograms, right. whereas the harbour seals, it would be more like 30 kilograms is okay for them to go back into the water. Quite big, quite yeah. big things, aren't they? Yeah, Bless them. huge. What are the main issues? Because it's obviously a rescue centre, so the seals that end up here end up here for a reason. Yeah. Are there like you've obviously mentioned dogs, but are there any other common reasons why a seal would end up here? So there's a virus that seals get called seal pox, um, and they get these sores all over their body, and they would stop eating. Um, and then the other one is like injuries and wounds. Um, it depends like how serious it is. Sometimes it can be grey seals attacking harbour seals. It can be from dogs. Um, or it can be from like boats and um, other things in the water. A lot of the ones we get in this, got in this year um, were just abandoned. So um, if people go down onto beaches and the mum can get scared off and just and not they return, just leave it yeah, oh, they just not really return sad. to the seal. I know. When, when we feed them, we just we literally just pour the bucket in. It's quite good if there's a few seals in the pool because then they have kind of competition. Um, if there's just one seal, we tend to find they kind of they know that there's fish there and they can come and go back to it. They don't eat as well. Once they get up to decent weight um, and they're eating well, then they'll generally be okay. So my name's Ewan, um, I'm one of the aquarists here at Explorus. Um, I was here when Neptune was taken in um, with some sort of very horrific injuries around his face. He was found on an island um, around Cranfield. Um, so the guys had to take um, a little canoe out to go and get to him. Um, he, we think, had a run in with a boat propeller. Um, he had some, some really massive wounds around his face, um, including sort of missing bits of the bone out of his nose. He, he's healed up quite a lot since that. He's got a little bit to go still between his eyes. Um, we do see lots of seals coming in with various injuries, usually more often kind of run-ins with fishing gear, with dogs. Um, we get a lot that have dog bites, especially around their face. 
Um, seals will usually sit quite quiet on a beach um, and a dog comes up to them and then they're quite vulnerable to getting attacked by that when they decide they've suddenly got too close. On the days whenever Neptune's bad and you can tell like he's in a lot of pain, it's just like you really feel it, like looking at him and he's wincing his eyes and um, all I want to do is go in and give him more eye drops and hope that that'll like relieve it a bit. But um, it's just sad to think like he was probably only a month old whenever he got too close to that boat engine and you think how many boats are in the sea and how often that could happen and no one spots it. At the moment we're kind of at a stage where we're waiting for a, uh, an operation for him, we're waiting for a specialist coming over um, at some time in, in April. Um, hopefully then we'll sort of be able to move towards getting a surgery for him, whether that involves repair of his, his eyelids um, or if it means that he has to lose one of his eyes. Um, we will we'll wait and see what's going to happen with that. If you ever come to Explorers, so there's an adoption scheme um, which helps like um, pay for kind of the vet treatments for the seals and that kind of thing as well. Not every seal is so lucky and hopefully Neptune will make it, but yeah, like we just need to be more aware of the damage that like people can cause to marine life in the oceans, especially um, our local oceans here in Northern Ireland as well. you advise them to do yeah uh, so the main thing we would just say like try and keep your distance if you have a dog keep on a lead and um, stay away from them and um, if you're concerned about the seal um, obviously give Explorers Seal Sanctuary a call um, and then like what's really useful for us is if they can get footers without getting too close and sending mm. them through to us so we can kind of make a judgment like it's quite easy to tell whether a seal's underway it just from a photograph um, and that can tell us a lot um, and then yeah and then we can head out and see if they're okay. Mm.